All right. So let's start with angle A. We're gonna bisect angle A. So to do that, we wanna make sure our needle is on A and we're gonna draw an arc that intersects both sides or both rays of the angle. Now we take our compass and we open it to the distance of our intersections here. And we're gonna draw an arc out here. Needle on the other intersection and draw another arc so that we have an intersection. Okay, now we take the straight edge and we're gonna connect our vertice through this intersection. All right, kind of tailed off there at the end. All right, so there's my angle bisector for angle A. All right, now let's bisect angle C. So angle C, we want to draw another angle bisector. So there's our arc that intersects both sides. Now put our compass needle at this distance. Okay. And draw a couple arcs out here. One there. And uh, where was I at? Here. And one there. Okay. Straight edge to connect. And we have our other angle bisector. All right, now we see this point right here. We'll call it point P again. All right, now that is the in center. So if we bisected angle B, we can see that it would pass right through uh, point P. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to draw, just like the circle we drew over here, the circumcircle. This is going to be called the in circle. The in circle is going to be on the inside of our triangle. The reason that is, is because our in center is equidistant from the sides, okay? So equidistant from the sides of our triangle. Our circumcenter was equidistant from the vertex or the vertices, right? So to find this, we have to drop a perpendicular line from point P to any one of our lines. I'm gonna draw from point P to point AC. Sort of the reason why we didn't draw our angle bisector, just so we have enough room here to work with, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our needle at point P and we wanna open our compass wide enough just to where we can draw an arc that intersects line segment AC um, two times. So there's one intersection and we keep it going and we have another intersection, okay? All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put our needle at one of the intersections here and we're just gonna draw another little arc down here, put the needle here and draw another arc as well. So about right there, just draw an arc down here, needle at the other intersection and draw another arc like that, okay? So now we can draw our line from point P through this intersection. I'm only gonna draw it to right there. And that gives us our perpendicular line, not a perpendicular bisector, just a perpendicular line. The reason that's important is because now we can use this point, we'll call it point R, and our in center to draw our in circle, okay? So we put our needle at point P and the other end at point R and we're gonna draw a circle. All right, so here we have our in circle and that's how you construct the in center with the in circle. So let me zoom in on it for us. And there we are.